Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to uh, talk about Harris and Trump and the future of American politics beyond 2024, beyond that election, further down the road, 2028, and, uh, and even further than that, really. This is something that we have talked about numerous times on the channel, and a bunch of questions have come in about this since Harris has uh, become the front runner. Uh, I have one here. It's just the most concise. It's the reason it was picked. One of the things you've talked about repeatedly is Trump needing to lose decisively to get back to a normal political cycle with less authoritarian politics. I'm wondering how Harris fits into that math. I understand how Biden winning decisively could cause that. Is the same true for Harris? Uh, no, I think it's very different. Um, the key element, I don't think Harris has to win decisively. I don't think she has to win decisively. Uh, when people are talking about this, what most people are talking about is seeing Trumpism fade from American politics. Um, you know, they, they put it in broader terms, but it's really about Trumpism. Harris doesn't have to win by as big a margin as an old white guy to show that the United States is rejecting that. You know, when it's baked in to Trumpism, when people say, make America great again, you ask them when. During that period, would somebody like Harris be even considered to, to be on the ticket, much less at the head of the ticket, much less seeing a major party rally behind her? She doesn't have to win by as big a margin to achieve the same effect. Her winning at all demonstrates a rejection of something that is baked in to Trumpism on a fundamental level. On a level that's so, so deep, there are probably people who support Trumpism who may not really fully understand that it's there. Um, her, her winning, she doesn't have to just absolutely crush Trump at the polls to achieve that same effect. If she wins, uh, I would imagine that you would see Trumpism fade very quickly, probably before 2028. Um, now, that doesn't mean that a new brand of authoritarian politics doesn't emerge, um, but it would be different. It wouldn't be centered around a personality. Um, yeah, I imagine it would be more, more like the Tea Party in how it functioned. Um, that may happen, but I would suggest that any win by Harris would be as effective as a huge win by Biden at, at demonstrating to the Republican decision makers that that brand of politics is not a winning political strategy because Electing Harris doesn't just reject the policies. It rejects something on a more fundamental level that is baked into it. So, uh, no, it, it's, it's not the same. Is the same true for Harris? No, it's very different math. Um, her win, if she wins, that's that's going to be, I'd be super surprised if there was a, a Trumpism faction 
that still remained in 2028. Um, again, you would have something similar, some way for them to kind of transfer, um, but it, it wouldn't be the same in any way. Harris, Harris winning, even by a small margin, that's going to spell the end of Trumpism as we know it. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.